Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Uh, this is the second lecture of a um, series of lectures about how different trigonometric functions, uh, what, what kind of values they take um, if the argument is one of the basic angles which we were talking about before. Like in the first quadrant it's uh, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and then other quadrants symmetrically are um, manipulated as well. So uh, this one, uh, this lecture is about cosine and its values uh, in different angles which I have chosen. It's not all of them, but most of the, of the basic angles. And um, the methodology which I'm trying to, uh, to use in all these cases is, I don't remember the values of these functions, I'm calculating them based on something which I do know. And the only thing which I really know is that in the unit circle, the angle of 30 degrees has an opposite uh, catheters, which is an ordinate of this point, equal to one half of the hypotenuse. So the abscissa is calculated basically because the hypotenuse is one, this catheter is one half, so this particular abscissa is calculated based on the Pythagorean theorem. So if this is x, then x squared plus one half square, which is one quarter, equals to one square, which is one. From here, x is equal to square root of three over two. So my abscissa is square root of three and uh, over two, and my ordinate is one half. So that's this particular point. That's 30 degrees. That's pi over 6, right? Now, the next angle, basic angle, is 45 degrees. And the property of the 45 degrees angle is that the both catheters, uh, both catheters are the same. Uh, because this is 45 and this is 45 in the right triangle, right? So. Uh, which means if this is x, then x squared plus x squared is equal to 1, and the solution is x is equal to square root of 2 over 2. Right? So the coordinates of this point is square root of 2 over 2, comma square root of 2 over 2. Both, abscissa and ordinate. And this is 45 degrees over p over 4. And the third major angle is 60 degrees, And 60 degrees angle actually looks exactly, this triangle looks exactly like this triangle. It has 30 degrees, 30 degrees, and 60 degrees, which is this. Which means it's the same uh, uh, um, uh, length of the catheter. Instead of whatever was um, ordinate in this case would be ordinate in this case. So it's square root of 3 over 2. And whatever was uh, abscissa in this case would be ordinate in this, which is uh, so the abscissa would be one half, and ordinate would be one uh, square root of three over two, and this is sixty degrees or p over three. So that I know a little bit know, and everything else I, I, I calculated based on the Pythagorean theorem. Now, from here, I can find out the value of everything else just using the symmetry of these particular quadrants with this one. Now, this lecture is about cosine, so I'm interested in the cosine. Cosine is abscissa, so I'm interested in the first coordinate of these angles. Now, my first angle is 2 pi over 3, which is 120 degrees. So I have three points here. This is um, 2 pi over 3. Now, obviously, since this is 120, it's 90 degree plus 30. Now, this point, which represents 60 degree, is 90 degree minus 30. So these angles are symmetrical relatively to this diameter, which is the y-axis. Y 
since the angles are symmetrical, and according to the theorem which I have proven when I was explaining what basic angles are in the definition at the very beginning of the trigonometry course, these points are symmetrical relatively to the y-axis. Now, symmetrical points relative to the y-axis have obviously the same coordinate, but their abscissas, which is this one, are equal in absolute value but opposite in signs. So, if I'm interested in abscissa, then one half should be reversed, minus one half. That's abscissa, and that's the value of the cosine for this particular angle. Next angle, 3 pi over 4, which is this one. 3 pi over 4. Now, 3 pi over 4 is, uh, now this is 120 degree, and this is 135 degree. Well, that's 90 degree plus 45, but 45 degree is 90 minus 45. So again, these points are symmetrical relative to the y-axis. That's why my abscissa in this particular point is equal to this one with a minus sign. So this would be minus square root of 2 over 2. Now, the last one in this quadrant is 5 pi over 6, which is 150 degree, 5 pi over 6. And obviously, 90 plus 60 will give you 150 degree. 90 minus 60 give you 30. So these points are symmetrical. So I take this abscissa with a minus sign, minus square root of 3 over 2. Now, the angle of pi, which is this one, it's 180 degree. Now, its abscissa is obviously minus 1 because we are in a unit circle, so I don't have to do much. Now, minus p over 6. Minus, minus pi over 6 is going this way. This is minus pi over 6, which is minus 30 degrees. Now, we know that cosine is an even function. If argument changes the value from uh, uh, plus to minus with the same absolute value, then the function uh, does not change the sign at all. So function retains the same value for x and for minus x. Okay, which means that the cosine of this particular angle is exactly the same as the cosine of this particular angle. And that's obviously uh, visible quite well from, from the drawing because they are projecting into the same point on the x-axis, which is an, an abscissa. And again, from the, uh, from the symmetry uh, theorem which I was using, this is plus 30 degree, this is minus 30 degree. So these angles are symmetrical, and that's why these are symmetrical. They are on the same perpendicular to the x-axis, projecting to the same point, and that's why they, their abscissas are exactly the same. So I'll just use the same square root of 3 over 2. Now, minus pi over 4, it's this. Minus pi over 4, which is minus 45 degrees. Same thing, symmetry is between this point and this point, 45 degrees. 45 degrees plus or 45 degrees minus. Angles are symmetrical, therefore the points are symmetrical, therefore abscissas are exactly the same, so it's square root of 2 over 2. Minus pi over 3 is this one, and the symmetry is with plus pi over 3, right? And therefore, abscissa is one half, so I will retain the same abscissa here. Minus pi over 2, it's this one, it's minus 90 degree. Well, we don't have to do much thinking because this is definitely abscissa is equal to 0. Minus 2 pi over 3, it's this one, and it's obviously symmetrical to 2 pi over 3. Right? So its abscissa is exactly the same. It's minus one half. Minus three pi over four. 
So this is minus 2 pi over 3, which is minus 120 degree. This is minus 3 pi over 4, which is minus 135 degree. It's symmetry with this guy. Now this guy has 3 pi over 4 has minus uh, square root of 2 over 2, and that would be exactly the same here. We are projecting into the same point. And finally, we have this one, which is uh, 5 pi over 6 minus, minus 5 pi over 6, which is minus uh, 150 degree. It's symmetrical to this guy. And abscissa is exactly the same, which is uh, minus square root of 3 over 2. Finally, minus pi is this one and abscissa is minus 1. So, um, methodology is very simple. Again, I remember only a couple of things, like the catheters, which is uh, opposite to a 30 degrees angle in the right triangle, is half of the hypotenuse. Basically, everything else is derivable using the Pythagorean theorem and the um, considerations of symmetry. When points are symmetrical relative to the y-axis, then their ordinates are the same, and their abscissas are opposite in signs, but the same in absolute value. If symmetry is relatively to the horizontal x-axis, then their abscissa is the same, but the ordinates are uh, opposite in sign, but the same in absolute value. Well, that's it for major angles uh, for cosine. Um, uh, thanks very much, and the uh, next would be about tangent.